I'm Ashling. Welcome to the Veggie Monster. Okay, so I'm very sorry for my very failed attempt at cosplaying for mine. Um, I just got the wig yesterday and I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm not, so I'm I'm gonna wear it anyway. But I promise next time I'll have the little bow she has next to my hair. I'm now I'm on the fifth volume of A Kame Got Kill, and oh my god, I love this series so much. Every time I read one of these mangas, I'm so scared that one of the characters is going to die because they just keep dropping like flies, basically. We lost Bullet and now we lost Sheila and oh, I was, I was so worried reading this. I have some notes that I want to read. I'm not going to be looking down at my notes the entire time like I did before because I know that's very annoying. Yeah, I have a lot to, to talk about today. Okay, first of all, this is a um, My Thoughts video, so I'm going to be kind of reviewing the manga. So obviously there's going to be spoilers, so just warning you. First thing I want to talk about, oh my god, I don't remember her name, but <laughs> when another one of our main characters, characters nearly died, she got a knife in her face, I was, I freaked out and I didn't know what was happening, I was like, holy shit, that was quick, but then I thought like, then I kind of thought like, that was a very quick death, I don't think that like, I think it'd be more dramatic, like the way that Bula and, and, and Sheila, Sheila's death was. It was very, it was much longer than that and more dramatic. So, yeah. The doorbell just rang. Okay, that was an, uh, an ESB guy who was at my door. And I had to take off my wig because it just wouldn't have been very suitable to answer a stranger at your door with the wig on. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to wear it for the rest of the video just in case I have to talk to him again. Okay. <laughs> but, um, like I was saying, I thought that her death was, her fake death was very quick, so I was thinking, she could have died, or, and I was also thinking like, oh my god, what is Tatsumi going to say, what is he going to think when he hears that she's dead, like, because she was one of his best friends, well, they all are his best friends, but she was the one who really introduced him to the group, so, yeah, I was very worried about him, well, worried about her too, obviously, since she was dead, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just I wasn't sure like how he was gonna take it or how. I was really sad, sad to think of like the others' reactions too, because I was thinking of a comedy's reaction. I was like, oh god, and mine. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sad for everyone, really. <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> and also, when that guy had Sheila's uh, sword, oh my god, I was like. Ugh. Oh my god, and I was like, Tatsumi is gonna freaking murder this guy. <laughs> I just know he will. Um, so yeah. I was glad I was glad that they defeated him in the end. Like, and he really underestimated mine, which was very foolish. Because <laughs> mine is awesome. Um <laughs> Yeah, I loved that. <laughs> I loved it when she blasted him. I just love it whenever whenever the bad guys die in this manga series. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> Also, I was really happy when Tatsumi picked up Akame to bring him to battle with him, even though she was, um, even though she was like kind of paralyzed a bit. I was really happy that he did that because it shows even when she's at her lowest point, he still believes in her abilities that much. And I just, oh, mm, I love them. <laughs> I'll just find any reason to see an interaction between them and take it as a romantic moment. <laughs> That's how pathetic I am. <laughs> and oh, he caught her. <laughs> when she was flying in the air, he just grabbed her. Oh, that was cute. Yeah. And new introduction to two new characters, Suzanne and Chelsea. I really like them so far. Um, I like the idea of a humanoid um, Tegu. And um, I like Chelsea. She seems like a bit of a brat, but I like her. <laughs> Um, and the drama between her and mine, I kind of like. I want to see where that goes. Um, I kind of like the frenemy relationship that they got going on. So, yeah. <laughs> I really like them. <laughs> I say yeah a lot in these videos, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and, oh, I was so glad when Dr. Stylish was, was killed. His name is hilarious. But <laughs> I was so glad when he was finally taken out because... He was such an intimidating character. Like he served well for his purpose as character. I mean, he was meant to be intimidating, and 
a scary villain, but um, and he always gave me like the creeps whenever he was on, he was in it because I was always thinking, oh God, like he has so much power, he could take them down so quickly. And I was always worried because you always have to be even reading this manga or else your favorite character might die. But um, yeah, I was very, um, I was very happy to see he was, he died. Although he was a very interesting character and he served well as a villain since he was so intimidating. It was also nice to see a bit of the relationship that, or the kind of friendship that Seru and and Dr. Stylish had before he died. Um, we didn't really see anything about it before, but, um, and we didn't really see any development before, so it was kind of, it didn't really hit me much when she started crying about his death, because, you know, we haven't really grown to love their friendship. We haven't really had seen anything of it before. But um, I was very happy to see Eve's death. I think that's how you say her name. I, I loved like seeing her um, comfort Seru. Um, it was just, it shows a bit of her humanity, even though she is a complete psychopath and she has very little humanity, but she does care about her team. And I don't know, I just, I just like that in villains when they kind of have this underlining good side to them where they want to where they are good people to at least to some if they're not good people to everyone um so yeah i i really like that that was so sweet and wave come was about to comfort her like saying like i was raised to be a man who would always who was i was told by my mother to always comfort a woman when she is sad so i will comfort her <laughs> And oh, it was so it was so sweet, and then <laughs> then realizing oh, he's done and already <laughs> and already done the job for him, and he just like mm. <laughs> that was cute. I liked that. I like that friendship. Also, Lupo has got his own little rivalry going on with um, Susano, so Susanu, um, kind of kind of like um, mine's one with um, Chelsea, only hers is about. Chelsea just being a bit of a brat to her <laughs> while and um, while Lubo is kind of upset with Susano because he's like he's handsome and he's like strong and he kind of has to like I know he's scared that he's gonna like take the girls from him or something <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but um I love to see those kind of those two rivalries starting like I just I just think that's a very interesting new arc that's beginning. Um yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of that. <laughs> and finally, the end story of those two girl of those three girls and um, getting sold off as slaves. Oh god, that was so sad. That was awful and disgusting. Oh, I just hated it so much. And I was so happy when the bad guys were killed. I was just like, oh thank god. That's not going to happen to any more girls in the story, I hope. But it, it probably will, knowing this manga, like it wants to hurt you. So probably will have plenty of that. But um, yeah, and when she killed herself at the end, oh, that was a bit... Ah, oh, that was very heartbreaking. And her last line of, um, if I am reborn, I wish it will be to a kinder world. Oh, this is... <laughs> Oh, uh, I love this manga so much. It hurts me, but I love it. Also, another thing that I got yesterday was this Adventure Time poster. Yay, I love it, it's awesome. Um, I hope to be able to fill this room with a bunch of posters and mangas and cartoons that I watch, but I really like this one. <laughs> okay, so that's all there is for today. And um, I'll see you guys again in the next video and yeah, bye.